Hey, welcome to Netlink Daily. Sorry, I, I broke my glasses, so I'm wearing my contacts. But they're like a year and a half old, so they dry out really fast. It's really probably not good for my eyes, but the, the show must go on. AMD's Radeon R9 380X is out, and so are the reviews. Seems like the consensus so far is that at its price point of around 240 bucks US, it's not bad in terms of price to performance. It's not blowing its competitors out of the water, but it serves as the current lead contender in its performance tier. Until Nvidia releases a 960 Ti anyways. <laughs> that made it sound like I know that they're going to, but I don't, so don't get any ideas. We've linked some reviews in the news sources if you're interested. <laughs> You thought the Batman Arkham Knight hoopla was over? <laughs> nope. After launching a buggy game, pulling it from sale, patching it, and re-releasing it, only to discover it's still super buggy, Warner Bros. and Rocksteady have now halted work on providing multi-GPU support. A developer broke the news on the Steam forums, saying that the performance improvement from using multiple GPUs was too small given the high risk of creating new issues. So they just stopped working on it. Nah. Just goes to show, always try and get the highest single performing card for your budget, but also goes to show, seriously Rocksteady, what the fuck? Some info leaked earlier this week regarding Intel's upcoming Broadwell E lineup of processors, but we didn't actually report on it, I don't think. That info pointed to various i7 chips sporting 6, 8, and 10 cores, but a new leaked slide indicates that we'll be seeing these processors as early as Q2 2016. Right on! but we never even got the first Broadwell chips on desktop. Well, there was one or two. This is like getting a big movie sequel to a small TV series. Sounds familiar. Quick beats. Sony has very quietly added PlayStation 2 emulation to the PS4. Eurogamer downloaded a bundle of old PS2 Star Wars games on PS4, played them, and it became apparent they weren't ports. They were indeed being emulated via software. Ooh, Sony, you're so sneaky. Researchers at MIT have developed a new fitness tracking device, but you don't wear it, you swallow it. It's a little pill with a tiny microphone that detects heart rate, breathing, and other things of that nature. For those who want to track their fitness that bad. Blocks, the modular smartwatch, launched their Kickstarter and got funded pretty quick, so I guess we'll see in short order whether they were crazy or were actually onto something. Meanwhile, the LG Watch Urbane is getting pulled off shelves due to a hardware issue. No! And Samsung has announced a new camera sensor technology called Bright Cell, which shrinks individual pixel size to allow better image quality and a smaller form factor. Let's just hope Samsung isn't taking a page from HTC's Ultra Pixel tech, because that was bad. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. So honestly, I googled this and I listened to the pronunciation guide like multiple times and I don't, I don't understand. It was like, la margat. So that's, that's my best, that's my best take. Today is a Friday, which means one week from today is also a Friday. I know things, but it's not just any Friday. It's Black Friday. And NCIX is gearing up for one of our craziest sales yet. Every day up until Black Friday, there's a crazy deal on NCIX.com from cases to graphics cards to headsets and storage drives. Now take that and swish it around in your head a little bit and then add on the fact that new customers to NCIXUS.com, our US site, can use coupon code YouTube1085 to get 10 bucks off any order over 85 bucks. So, and there's that. So click here for the Black Friday countdown and click here to shop our US site if you feel like taking a gander. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go buy some new glasses and contacts and lunch. Okay, bye.